so this is what I bought from the thrift store. It's upside down, but it's so bad it doesn't even matter. <laughs> this it has to be probably from like 1980, oops, 86 or so. It's um, definitely something my mom would have had in our house growing up, but um, no offense, mom. But I think it's probably like 24 by 48. I don't know, but I want to try to conform this to a Z Gallery inspired piece for a, on a budget. So I think I spent about $15 on this and um, hopefully I don't spend more than 30. And let's try to, I'm gonna try to make it look like a $500 Z Gallery painting. So let's see what happens. The first thing that I did was cover the whole canvas in white spray paint. I had to pay close attention to the colored areas, the dark purple and the blue, to make sure that it was completely covered with the white before I moved on to the next step. So the next thing I did was I printed this fun Louis Vuitton print on some tissue paper. I like tissue paper because it's, you know, of course, thinner to work with. And I used Mod Podge to adhere the, the tissue paper to the canvas. Now I have to admit this part took a long time and it was pretty tedious, but it's definitely worth it to take your time and make sure that the Louis Vuitton print or whatever print you use is lined up. So now the fun part, now I'm gonna to start to paint. I chose a white, um, a brown, and several different golds because I knew I wanted it to be sort of a gold gradient in the middle of the canvas. So the first color I used was white and what I'm trying to do is blend in where the Louis Vuitton print stops. So I just took my time and did several coats to try to make a smooth transition from the Louis Vuitton print to the canvas. After the white, I started to go in with the gold colors. The first color I chose was a rose gold kind of tone because I felt like with the Louis Vuitton print being a reddish orange color, they would blend in well together. So I wanted to, I was attempting to try to make it look like the Louis Vuitton print was kind of bleeding into the canvas. In the middle, I began to use a true gold color, and then I worked my way out to try to make it bleed into the, the more bronzy reddish gold.
Once I finished with the colors I had, I realized I wanted more of an intense gold in the center, so I grabbed a gold spray paint and I sprayed the center. And once I was done, I had to go back with my gold paint and blend the gold spray paint into the gold um, acrylic paints that I had. Once I was done, I grabbed a small paintbrush and the rose gold and I traced over the flowers just to bring them back out. And lastly, because I'm so extra, I wanted to make it a choosy gallery painting so I took some glitter and some Mod Podge and added it to the center of the canvas to give it that extra glam. And I am all done. Here is my Z Gallery painting made from a thrift store piece of art. Thanks for watching.